Welcome back to another Tech Debt Prepare video. In today's edition, we'll be working on the Samsung S22 Ultra. This will be a display assembly replacement. First thing you're gonna need is the screen disassembler uh, licensed by Samsung. Uh, this is actually a very effective machine to remove the back glass. Uh, you wanna make sure like to set the upper and the lower temperature to 70 and 65. And then after there's two buttons that you need to push, which is the vacuum button and the move and the back glass. After that, uh, it is highly recommended that you use a plastic sponger to make sure the adhesive comes off nice and neat. Um, though it is important to note that the back glass is removable just with a uh, pry tool plastic guard and a heat gun, but we thought to show you the official protocol that Samsung use in order to perform the screen repair. So after which, like, the back glass just comes off effortlessly. and it would just lift up. First, we're gonna go forward with the repair by just using one screw, and you only need one screwdriver actually for this repair because all the screws are uniform in Samsung's uh, hardware. We're just gonna be using a Phillips screwdriver. A 1.5 millimeter is preferable, and a plastic spudger to disconnect the connections. So for the S22 Ultra, there are 18 uh, screws which we would need to take uh, from the antenna cover all the way to the bottom speaker. After removing all the screws, First disconnect the NFC wireless pad from the motherboard and then gently lift up the wireless charging module. It is actually glued on to the bottom speaker but you can remove it. First disconnect the battery. Then we're gonna disconnect the main board flex of the LCD as well as the main board flex of the board. This is the antenna module antenna linking the main PBA to the sub PBA. And that is a 5G antenna module, um, which is interesting because this piece of hardware only comes with the US version. Proceed by removing the bottom speaker. Then moving on, there is the LCD flex connection linking the motherboard and the actual display assembly. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. And this is the main board flex linking the main PBA to the sub PBA. But there are also like three Phillips screws that we need to take care of to remove the charging board. And do not remove, do not forget to remove the SIM tray as well. That is one of the common mistakes that people try to extract the charging board without removing the SIM tray, which is like a common error. Moving on, we're gonna remove the flex cable of the antenna cover. And then this is the connection of the stylus pen we want to disconnect as well as the upper uh, 5G antenna module. And again, this is only for the US versions of the Samsung S22 Ultra as the international version, they do not seem to carry this piece of hardware. And same fashion for the bottom 5G module. Moving on, this is the upper part of the display assembly that needs to be disconnected. And just like that, the motherboard should be lifting up without causing too much trouble. And this is the motherboard where like, there are all the four cameras connected on the back of the motherboard. 
by the way. If you saw any parts or tools in this video, all the links are below in the description or visit techdebt.com. We do provide advanced data recovery services as well as mail-in repair. Moreover, we ship parts worldwide. Moving on with the repair, we're going to remove the stylus pen. And there is the front camera actually uh, with some uh, glue on it or adhesive but you have to like be careful when you want to remove the front camera the battery is also like removable and needs to be transferred onto the new screen uh, certain screens they do come with the battery already pre-installed such as the service pack but most ones they do not come with one so we would need to transfer the battery onto the new housing For this, we're gonna apply isopropyl alcohol to help dissolve the adhesive below the battery. Use a little bit of heat. And using a pry tool, gently start from the bottom of the battery and it should just pull off. There you have it. The last thing we need to transfer is the top speaker. And for the front camera, it's best to use a tiny blade pry tool and gently go over the sides of the camera and it should come up. Next, so all we need to do is basically do everything in reverse order, kind of like a puzzle. And um, the display assembly should come without any battery, but it's still OEM. I do not recommend to use any aftermarket parts if available for Samsung as the reason is that they are not fully compatible. The screen that Samsung use are like soft AMOLED so they are very delicate when it comes to that. We're gonna start by repositioning the top speaker along with the front facing camera. Putting back the board to its place, make sure like you put the right part in the right order then we're gonna attach the 5G module connections onto the housing. Put the stylus pen back. Remove the adhesive where the battery will sit. Reposition the charging dock and attach the connection to the main PBA. That is the antenna cover that goes on the top of the motherboard. And then we're gonna reattach the LCD flex connection. So one thing to note is that those um, screens, they do not come with the LCD flex. It's a different uh, part that is detachable. And then after like, we're just gonna reposition the NFC wireless pad and make sure you, like you reconnect it to the board. Once this process is done, we're just gonna put all the screws back into their appropriate places. Then moving on, uh, we're gonna reposition the back glass. Make sure it turns on. And voila, 
Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And with the help of the community, we'll make sure to assist you. Again, if you saw any parts or tools you need in the video, check us out at techdev.com or click the link below for mail-in repairs. Thank you for watching.